Tap the like, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go ahead and hop into it. We got Derek Lively speaking on his rookie season and just things that they're going to be able to accomplish this coming season. Boy, it's going to get a little spicy. Let's lock in. A major run all the way to the NBA Finals for a young player like you. How valuable is that kind of experience? Honestly, it's a lot. You know, it takes a lot of time to be able to learn, to be able to process, and just being able to just apply it to the game. It takes a lot of time, a lot of reps, and, you know, you have to fail to learn. So, you know, there's been a lot of times where I've had to learn on the fly, and it's definitely helped me throughout being able to play that long. How do you see your game develop the most over that first year for you? Uh, being able to just expand it slowly, you know, figuring out what I can do well and then slowly getting better at my weaknesses. No matter if that's me making reads out of the short, uh, short roll, no matter if that's me making the reads out of the dunker, or just making pick and roll reads. It's just figuring out what's going to happen on the floor and just establishing, establishing it in my game. You guys got a really big acquisition this summer. Clay Thompson coming to Dallas. How exciting is it to think of him joining the already talented team you have? Luca, Kyrie, that trio right there. You know, just being able to play off of them and just see how defense is going to change because the players on the floor is so exciting to think of. Just exciting to think about how we're going to pick it apart and to see if just how many, how well we can play together. I'm just excited. You know, with Luca and Kyrie, I mean, you clearly play a very different position from those guys. But what kind of mentorship were they able to offer you for your rookie year? Just knowing they've been in the same position. You know, having a lot of spotlight on you, having a lot of eyes on you being a rookie and being having a lot of just light on you. You know, there's a lot of things you can do wrong, but there's a lot of things you got to do right. So it's just understanding just control the things I can control. And whatever I can't, don't worry about it. And then all the things I can control is what I'm going to focus on. The Western Conference, there's so much parity. It's just getting even more filled, I guess, especially at the top. How do you guys make sure that you come back next season and can reclaim that top West spot? Really just learning from our mistakes. You know, there's a lot of things that we can get better and got better on throughout the season. But, you know, from the trade deadline, from the middle of the season to the end of the season, we were playing together with basically kind of a new team and establishing our new roles and figuring out what we can do. But whenever it came to the end, we started to figure out what we could do and what we could do and how we can play together. So next year, we're going to have a little bit of experience under our belt, and now we can play free and play together, which is going to be a lot of fun. And for you specifically, what are your goals for your second season? Just really just trying to expand on what I can call my game. You know, there's a lot of things that a lot of question marks, if I can shoot, if I can't shoot, if I can become stronger. But I'm just really just trying to own the paint and just try to play off of the great players that have on the floor. You know, if I can make a couple threes, I'm going to make a couple threes. But I know the paint's going to be wide open, so there's going to be so much, you know, so many players on the outside of the three-point line. I got to be able to own the paint, so that's my job, and that's what I'm going to try to do. Awesome. Thank you so much, Derek. Of course. Have a good one. Hey, if you stay to the end of the video, tap the like, subscribe, holla. We out.